guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to the season one finale. It, you know, it, it's complicated with it, you know, because, mm. but really, season one finale of the dangers in my heart. It, it's so weird to say that we're finally here. Um, BTW, it's Friday. I know I was supposed to do this yesterday on a Thursday, damn it. But my mom wanted some help to clean, and then after we were done, she just wanted to hang out and stuff. So I ended up watching TV with her and spending time with her all freaking day. And the next thing you know, it was time for me to get ready and go to bed. And I looked at the time, and I was like, shit. I have to record, and I can't do that now because I got to go to work tomorrow. So it is 8.14 at night. I am still a little groggy and tired and such, but I am a little more energized than I was when I came home and ate food. So, hey, yeah! <laughs> so, your girl's a little kind of stressed because she got a lot of shit to do tonight, and I'm just like, oh my god. Thank god I ain't gotta go to work tomorrow. That's the good thing. That's the real good thing. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. It is hot as hell in here. I'm sorry. Oh my god, probably after this episode I'll go put on the air. So. <laughs> None of your effing business. My thing is like, okay, you know, Ichigawa, he has the cast. You know, previous episode, we didn't see him do anything. We're going to see contacts for that today. So hopefully it's not too bad. I don't think he broke it. I think he's just quote unquote pretending and such. But, you know, that could be a lie. <laughs> It's so weird to also watch this first because normally when I do react uh, my videos and stuff, I watch this last. But I think because of the way how the previous two episodes ended, I was like, oh, hell no. I gotta watch this first plus the other Patreon show that I'm doing. That is like the final three episodes and I hate literally doing an hour and 30 minutes back to back to back. Like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh you gotta share damn no I don't think it's too early to roll out of bed well yeah I think you just want something different oh. Yamada oh <gasps> <laughs> well, of course, what else did you think was going to be? See me, I just get some music and just get lost. Mm. 
No, wait, wait, ah! Oh no. Oh. So that's what happened. No. Jesus Christ, man. When it comes to Yamada, yes. <laughs> what you doing? I mean, it, it's not, you know, like naughty as like, you know, ish. But it was cute. Or, uh, oh no, are you okay? <gasps> Shut up. What happened? You sure about that? Because when you tried to push, bruh, I felt, I heard and felt that crunch like, oh, Jesus Christ. You're friends. I, I think we would all consider you guys friends, but at the same time, like you're you're friends, but you're not really a couple. You're just really close, even though you know y'all are slowly but surely having feelings for each other. Duh. No.
just wanted to see, you know, scenery. No. <laughs> okay. Just do it. Bye. Okay. I think he's so fucking cute for saying goodnight to her. Ugh. Love it! <laughs> if she doesn't, I do. Mm-hmm. So buy an extra one for yourself. <laughs> I need another allergy pill. My freaking allergies are killing me. Ugh. Gonna go hang out with my future girlfriend. You forgot. Ah! But it still feels like a while. Ah! You puppy! <laughs> this is the best show ever now. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Don't look directly at her boobs. I already tried to once. Oh, you are a stranger. I will not do anything for a stranger. <laughs> She wanted to do a quicker. Duh. She just wanted to hold her hand. Bye. They look like the cutest little family together. Like, I can't. 
Oh my god, I, I think he would have took it, babe. We're dating. A bit alike. Okay. I'll take that. If I scratch myself off, I know. It. Oh God, him. The fuck you want? It seems like you honestly do, though. You don't have to give it to me if you don't want to. No, 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 you stay.
then you need to tell her how you feel. <laughs> her face. help. Okay. I feel for him for breaking his arm because, bruh, no one wants to do that, especially on vacation. It's already gonna be worse when you come back to school and be like, oh my god, what happened? Jesus Christ, why'd you do that? But the fact is, his sister overheard and saw them communicating and talking together. Bye. Now I do officially need them to meet up. Now, we've had moments where they've almost met or just almost, like mm, gotten close to meeting and such. But I'm ready to have a full 100% meeting between his girlfriend and his family members. Like, I think that's going to be really fucking sweet. Um, of course, they might embarrass the hell out of them because families, that's what they do. You know, they're obligated to do that. My mom with my ex-boyfriend, my currently, ex, still currently ex-boyfriend, because I haven't dated anybody in a hot ass minute. Um, my mom would say some of the dumbest stuff to him. And I'd be like, no, no, no. Oh my God. He doesn't need to know that. Please, no. I don't need anyone to know all of X, Y, and Z and such. And, and besides, like, <laughs> I don't think y'all want to know some embarrassing stories that I've done. Like, we, we've already talked about the gushing over magical girls every single week up until, like, I think week... Week five or week six and stuff. And then I kind of just said, I'm going to close the chapter on that and such. Like, I don't know. Maybe one day, like, if I really want to, then I'll just, like, talk about that shit again. I don't know. Um, But no, like, seriously. And him finally, you know, really being 100% sure that, yes, he really does have feelings for her. um, And that he 100% likes her. And him even saying that and just making sure with himself, like, yeah, I really do like her. Obviously, yeah, no duh, because it's been like that since episode freaking one. Even though for the longest time, my boy, you was denying yourself, but that's okay. That happens to all of us, especially, you know, with whoever we have crushes on and shit. And be like, oh my god, you are so freaking cute. And you're like, damn, I have, like... <laughs> <laughs> how in the world is this guy like following for a little old me and shit like that that's pretty much what every guy and every girl thinks about and such and you just sit here and wonder like what the freak um they just essentially like about you and so yeah you ask him and stuff and then you realize like damn you two really have a lot of good ass chemistry together <laughs> and such and you're like damn I could see myself with this person like mm. <laughs> but I mean 
Mm. As we said, do I still want to see a kiss? I, I mean, yes, I would love to see a kiss or something between these two. Um, we've gotten the hand holding. <laughs> Congratulations, bitch. Um, but yeah, I'm ready for like the big, big thing. Yeah, the kiss. Duh. So if we don't get it at the end of season one, I am okay. We still have another 12 episodes to go to and the potential uh, of our second half of the show, okay, like what I like to call season two still. Um, so really anything could literally be in the works, but of course, you know, we gotta wait and see how this season one is going to end and transpire and such, so hopefully it's not too, too bad. Um, the blonde haired guy who gives me, like, freaking coconut head Justin Bieber vibes, like, I need him to, like, fucking read the mother effing room. Get out. Like, nobody wants to be with you. I, I can't even see how what's free sees something in him. Like, yeah, he he's cute, but he's really much, like, um overbearing in a way and it's like he he's like, he's the type of guy who like it literally establishes dominance like too fucking much and you just want to be like dude read the effing room sit your behind down like ish stop coming on too hard sit your butt down like ish like shut up like I i'm sorry i hate guys like that i, I hate guys like I, I mean, I like when guys come on a little too strong. I think something about that is really good. I do also like when guys are a little bit dominant in their relationship and such. Uh, but I also just want a nice, chill dude. Like, who, at the end of the day, you're just going to chill with me. We can watch some freaking movies, uh, TV shows. Hell, we can sit and watch fucking reality TV shows. You can sit there and watch fucking Love is Blind with me or just, like, anything and sit. And, and sit and chill with me. Hang out with me. But don't be a dick. Once again... Don't be a dick. Be a good guy. We like good guys. We only like dicks. I, mm, let me let me try that again. <laughs> we only like guys who wear dicks when we're kind of a little bit tipsy. tipsy. Boom. All right. Go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for the final episode. All right. Final episode in three, two, one. You could have just made up an excuse and be like, hey. this babe
I'm so stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, stupid silly. so See, I feel like because, you know, grown up look, the date, and wanting to be with you. The date is for you. <laughs> oh 
when I think about Yamada, she will never turn down food. <laughs> oh god not the yearbooks oh uh... Uh oh. I mean, it was bound to happen, though.
they didn't I mean, hello, I love the fact that you are half naked, like, uh, but excuse me, why? <laughs> I'll do it for you.
No. By you? Because there's no way they're going to just say, I want it to be seen. That's a you. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, hug, yes, but, you know, not like that. You gonna keep the bag? Okay, this was a cute way to end season one, deadass. I mean... Just the way, oh, okay. It, by you would have been better. I want it to be seen by you, but I'll take it. I ain't mad at it. But no, final thoughts in the first half. This was really fucking cute and brilliant and adorable and just wholesome as hell and ish. I can see why everybody fell in love with this damn series and why they're still currently in love with this, even though, yes, for me... It is almost over, even though by next week we'll be on season two, and I think you guys will be done with season two in the next couple of weeks. Um, I love, once again, the dynamic between these two. I've loved it since episode one. I love the fact that, you know, Ishihara, he, he went from I am not sure about her to the end of this, like, yeah, I did ass have feelings for her. It's very obvious, I, and I hope to God, once again, Season two, he tells her and such. That's the biggest thing. I mean, it, it, just in the hugging that these two did. These two did a lot. And I mean a lot of fucking embracing. So, I mean, damn. Like, tell me you're not a couple without saying you're not a couple. I mean, they're a couple, but they're not a couple. It's just complicated, though. But it's a good complication. We just... We secretly hope by the end of season two that they're kind of starting to date. Because, like, okay, the things that I'm saying about these two are the things that I'm kind of wishing, like, let's say if Comey couldn't, uh, I think it's Comey can't communicate. If Comey can't communicate had, like, a third season where they finally got together, Comey and, you know, the guy in the show, I, I would have been dead ass happy. Like, I hate the fact that season two for that show kind of really ends with them not really predominantly getting together, which I'm not mad at it. I'm, I'm okay with some of my, like, romance shows not having the couple get together in the end, even though, yes, I'm over here like, I need y'all to fucking get together by the end of this, please. Thank you. I'm just saying. 
But it, let's say if it does have a season three or season four, yes, I would love to see more coupling moments with Komi and, you know, her future boo. Same thing with these two. If we don't see them together by season two, by the end of season two, I will be okay with that. I would love to see another two seasons with these two still the will they won't they route but i wouldn't want to see it as much as like as okay as someone who is currently watching spy family and such and the things that i have heard about spy family specifically is whatever the hell chapter they are currently in and these two still ain't together and everybody's like um are you fucking kidding me that's how i currently feel with that I don't want it to be like we're on volume 26 and these two are still not fucking together and such. I get it because it's for the suspense and the atmosphere and, you know, they want to get more chemistry with them. And, you know, are they really that compatible with each other? Look at freaking um, Kaguya and freaking um, Shiragane. Look how long it took those two to get together. But something about theirs, what is different is I'm okay that it really took its time like that. I don't, I mean, that's like, okay, for example, Horimiya. Horimiya, a, a lot of people are very, and I think I was like that too, but I was like, I, I didn't voice my opinion on it as much. I was like, hey, I'm okay. Like, as long as they're together. They, they like, literally, they got together so fucking quickly that it was so weird. And I, I talked to a friend about it, like, when I was re-watching the show, and I was like, yeah, at first I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Now that they got it like that, I was like, okay, we didn't, okay. But it, it, I get it. I get it. You know, when you have that chemistry, you be like, fuck it, let's just go ahead and start dating. And it's really, like, damn, we're like, we can't wait until, like, episode 10 to start doing this shit. Oh, but I, I get it because the the pacing of how Horimiya was done I get it where it's like by this episode they have to start officially dating and maybe more there was possibly more like in the manga where officially before they started dating and it's like that who knows but you know one day if I ever decide to read it but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards the entirety of the first season of the dangers in my heart if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every time I join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday for patreon and next thursday for everybody else for the first two episodes of season two but until then i will see you guys all next time bye